Okay, question 11. Figure 11 shows two blocks at rest, connected by a light inextensible string, which passes over, over a smooth pulley. Block A of mass 4.7 kilograms uh, rests on a smooth plane inclined at 60 degrees to the horizontal. Block B of mass 4 kilograms uh, rests on a rough plane inclined at 25 degrees to the horizontal. On either side of the pulley, the string is parallel to a line of greatest slope of the plane. Basically then, the string is parallel to the planes. Uh, block B is on the point of sliding up the plane. Okay, for part one, we want to show that the friction in the string is 39.9 newtons to 3 sig figs. Okay, so we know that uh, tension is acting up the string and trying to pull us back down is a resistant force, let's call it R. Now we know that this plane is smooth, so we are assuming no friction. So, what we need to do is work out the um, component of force parallel to the plane. So, we know that we've got weight acting down, so that's uh, 4.7 4 G. Then we know the normal force would be at a right angle to the plane. The angle here would be 60. Now what we want to find is this force here. So we've made a little right angle triangle. So this force again, let's call it R. So by Sokotoa, we know sine of 60 is R over uh, the hypotenuse 4.7 G. So R is 4.7 uh, times, now they want the answer to 3 sig figs, so we'll go to 3 sig figs, so times uh, 9.81 sine of 60. Put that in your calculator and you will get 39.9 newtons. Now, how does that a link to tension. Well, we know block A is at rest. So it's in equilibrium. So we know that T is equal to R, which is 39.9 Newton's. Cool. Okay, now part two for five marks answers to find the coefficient of friction between block P and the rough plane. So let's do the forces again. We now know that tension is 39.9 Newtons. Now this time our resistant force is going to be made up of tension and the um, 
parallel component of the force again. So the weight this time is for G. The normal force is going to have an angle of 25 degrees. Okay, so again, what we want is this force here. So, using Zokotoa, we know um, uh, we know sine of twenty-five is equal to well, let's call this force R. So it's going to be sine 25 is R over 4T. So R is 4G sine 25. So this whole resistant force to tension is um, 4G sine 25 add friction okay now what we also need is the normal reaction force to the block between, your, between the block and the, and the plane so again, using Sokotoa, let's call this guy N, we know that N, or cos 25, is N over uh, 4G. So, we know that N is 4G. Uh, cos 25 Okay, so if we think about now in terms of going up the slope so uh, force up the slope well, we know that block B is at rest so the resultant force is zero uh, but, in terms of the forces, this is tension minus uh, the resistant force, so minus uh, 4G sine 25 minus friction. Now, because we know that the block is on the point of move uh, sliding up the slope, that means then that friction is some quantity, so the, fr the constant of friction, so mu times the normal reaction force. So, this is mu times um, well, where are we? 4G cos 25 Okay, so again now, using this, we're going to put friction in, so we get 39.9 minus 4G sine 
0.5 minus fraction, which is mu times 4g cos of 25. And we know that this is equal to zero. So we can get that mu times 4g uh, cos of 25 is equal to 39.9 minus 4g sine of 25 divide through by 4g cos 25 we get mu is 39.9 minus uh, 4g sine of 25 over 4g cos of 25. Now we want the answer to three sig figs, so use g as 9.81 and we will get that mu is Zero point six five six. Boom.